Welcome to uh, the next Building Rigs for Plans tutorial. In this tutorial, we're going to show you how to uh, save a specification and then reload it, and also how to export that specification to PDF. So, first of all, I'm going to go to the House Extensions app because I'm going to build an extension. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to add in a few uh, building notes. Let's take the one for uh, planning note permitted development. Let's take a few general notes. We'll get the CDM rigs. Uh, we'll get a party wall note. And let's get one for materials and workmanship. Let's add in a note for foundations, a strip foundation. And let's just put one more in. Let's have a solid floor, screed finish, insulation, and let's add that in. So over in the right hand column, you can see I've added my uh, notes into my specification. So what I now want to do is I want to save that specification. Now at the top of the right hand column you can see there's a save button. So I'm going to hit that button and then I'm going to get a, a window open uh, which shows 10, you see there are 10 rows. Now basically these are slots where you can save your specifications. If you have a look on the right hand side you see the first four the button says overwrite. Now that means I've already got a specification saved in that slot. Now, if I, if I wanted to overwrite them, I'd just hit that hit one of those buttons, and that would put my new specification in place of the one that was in there previously. But what I want to do actually is I want to create a completely. I don't want to overwrite any of those. I want to save it in the slot number five, which is currently empty. So I'm going to hit that new job button. It's going to just confirm screen come up, so I'm going to click save, and now my specification, that specification that I've just built, that's saved. Now, just to show that, what I'm going to do is I'm going to delete this, this current spec over here on the right hand side. If I go to edit, that will give me the option to clear my current specs. Now, that only clears from the web page, whereas the specification that I've just saved is now saved in the database that's saved on our server so that's safe so I'm going to clear all here so you notice that, that that's just gone blank now but my spec is still saved so I'm going to hit the load button again just to show that so now I've got the option of loading my five pre previously saved specifications I'm going to go back to that number five you notice there under job name it says unnamed. That's because for each job I've got the, there's another section on the site where I can set the details specific to this job. Okay, so first of all, anyway, I'm going to load that spec. Just going to confirm loading it. And the web page refreshes, and there's my specification. Exactly the same as I saved a couple of minutes ago. So, I want to export it to PDF now. Now, before I do that, I just want to set a couple of other details. Um, if you go to the specifications menu, go down to the job details menu item, I'm going to click on that. And you see here, I've got 10 job detail slots. Now, each of these is equivalent to those uh, save slots for my specifications. If you remember, I saved that specification in slot number five. So now I'm going to go down to slot number five here. I'm going to click Edit Job Details. Now there's nothing in there at the moment, but I'm going to name that job. I'm just going to call it My New Extension. Client name, I'm just going to call him John. I'm going to give it a address of seven high street now I could fill the rest of those details in. I'm not going to do that now there's also the option at the bottom to include architects draftspersons emails and phone number in case um, 
those can be included on the specification when we export it and we might need to reference those details at some point that's optional but I'm going to save those details okay so now I'm going to go back to my specification again there it is and now I'm going to hit the to PDF export button okay and there it is there's my spec you notice here now um, I'm logged in as a premium user at the moment and that gives me the option to include uh, detailed drawings on that export so any of the uh, specifications that's got uh, a detailed drawing associated with it it's going to be a tick box below that specification so I'm going to click that one and then I'm going to export it just before I export that though I want to draw your attention to uh, a few options you've got here at the top um, over on the right hand side there's the option to include job details now that's the details that you've just set up I'm going to scroll down and show you where they are that's here those are the details you remember that I just filled in uh, my new extension the name of the client is John and that's the address of course you can include further details um, and that the inclusion of that is dependent upon this tick box on the right hand side being ticked also on the left hand side you notice there's the option to include business details and also in the middle there's the option to include a business logo and I'm going to just quickly show you how to set those details up first of all for the business details I'm going to close this window I'm going to go to my account on the menu now if I scroll down there you see here are the uh, I can name my business I'm just going to call it my business got the address in there already just something I made up and I'm going to save those details it just confirms that they've been saved also you notice that there was the option to upload uh, to include a logo on that PDF specification that's purely optional as are all these three you don't have to include job details you don't need to include your own business details they're just handy options if you need them so I'm going to go back to job details I'm going to scroll down to the bottom and you'll notice there there's the upload company logo section now if I've got a company logo all I need to do is I click on browse I find my logo on my hard drive in my documents folder I click open now there are a couple of restrictions on this which is the size of the um, logo in pixels is uh, maximum size of 320 by 240 pixels that's because it fits comfortably on the page and also there's a file size which is one megabyte for an image of that size it's unlikely that it's going to be that large so that the image size isn't generally a problem but the, uh, the restrictions on the size in pixels are perhaps something you will need to look at when you're uploading so I'm going to click upload it says file successfully uploaded please allow 48 hours for image processing you'll probably be alright with that straight away so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back to my specification again I'm going to click to PDF and here you can see my logo is included so I've got I've got these three options here include my business logo include my business details and include the job details if I scroll down I can see all of those through those are my business details highlighted and I'm going to go back down just look over my specification quickly I'm going to include those two details scroll back up to the top again I'm going to hit the PDF export button it may take a few seconds dependent upon the number of specifications and the number of detailed drawings you're going, to, you're going to include. If you include a lot, it could take 30 seconds or more. But I'm going to scroll down and that's my PDF with my detailed drawings included. 
Okay, now I can save that PDF. I can save it on my hard drive. And that's done. My finished PDF.